Hello? Hi, I'm looking for Carly. This is her. Hello, Carly. My name is Seth McElroy, and I work over at Medical Clinic. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm well, thank you for asking. Listen, I know that you used to be employed at the clinic, right? Yeah, a long time ago, like 10 years. Mm-hmm. So the reason I'm calling is because Janet wanted me to speak with you. Janet still works there? The the receptionist? Mm-hmm, she still works here. Whoa, okay. What does she want? Well, she's not very happy with you, if I'm going to be 100% honest here. <laughs> with me? Mm-hmm. I haven't seen Janet since I left there. And there's a good reason for that. Apparently, before you left, close to a decade ago now, you borrowed a stamp from her and never paid it back. You remember that? What? You said you would reimburse her for it, but you never did? I don't remember that at all. Okay, well, that's kind of a likely story, I guess. Anyway, she's wondering when she can expect payment for the stamp that you borrowed. I can't believe that Janet would still remember or be hung up about a stamp. I know, if somebody stole from me, if somebody stole from me, I'd remember. Okay, I didn't steal anything from her. I never stole anything. I might have borrowed a stamp, but I didn't steal from her. Well, you borrowed it with the promise of giving her another stamp, and ten years later, still no f stamp. So, excuse me. Do not swear at me. I, you know what? I'm sorry. I got carried away. But I just, I don't like people taking advantage of others. And that's what you did with Janet. You stole from her 10 years ago and haven't paid her back. I didn't steal anything. Are you kidding me? I borrowed a stamp. Excuse me. If you I could, don't even remember. If you could watch your language, please. You swore at me. Yeah, but I had the right to swear at you. You don't have the right to swear at me. You don't have the right to call me and tell me that I owe Janet a stamp. That is so bizarre. I think I have every right. If somebody owed you a stamp from 10 years ago, you'd be pretty upset about it, too. No, I wouldn't. It's a stamp. I would not be upset about that. No normal person would be upset about that. Well, it's clear that you're not a normal person because you have no feelings. I have feelings? What are you talking about? Well, you don't care. You don't even care that you took this stamp. Why should I care? I don't care. I don't care because it was a stamp. And it was 10 years ago. So what are we going to do about this? You know what? I'm going to bring a dollar over there, and I'm going to leave it on Janet's desk so this whole thing can just be done with. You know, for most people, I would believe that. But with as callous as you've been through this whole thing, I don't trust that you'll do that. So what I'm going to do is send over a courier to pick up payment from you. What? Yeah, and you will be charged for that, too. No. You're not sending a courier to come pick up a stamp. This is more ridiculous than it was before. Well, how am I supposed to? Thirty-five dollars. So it'll be five dollars. You, you what? That doesn't make any sense. It'll be a total. Give Janet thirty-five dollars and call her today. No, you give the courier thirty-five dollars. You give Janet a dollar because you owe her that. What are you, some kind of stupid superhero flying around getting stamps back that people stole, quote unquote? Yes, I am Stamp Man. <laughs> stamp Man, both. You don't believe me? No, that's the most dumbass name I've ever heard. Okay, good. I'm glad you don't believe me, because this is actually Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning doing a phone tap on you. What? It's a prank phone call. Your friend Robin set you up.